Okay, everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jersey, and today we're gonna try to set up some of the new product that we just got in the update, right? So I gotta think about how do I wanna approach my store uh, again lately. Uh, Keldo just released an amazing video, and I'm excited to to learn more about how the the system of the NPC, you know, they do that stuff. So if you haven't checked out Keldo, amazing TCG content creator, you gotta check him out. Everybody. His channel's blowing up. Everybody's going over there and subscribing for TCG content. But, you know, I I still, I am in my own way, going in my own direction, trying to make my challenge. And my challenge is to have an amazing looking store, right? That Because I love designing. I love, I love creating and building and all of that. So that is part of my goal. So what we're going to do, we're going to order some of this stuff. Because first of all, we need to uh, put some of this stuff in the... In the warehouse area so we gotta do that so let's go all the way down and order the stuff that we need so we already unlocked um we already unlocked the the licenses we did that in the previous video so we're gonna order some of this uh over here oh wait i haven't unlocked the licenses okay there we go so we're unlocking the licenses so so we got four new mats so let's order one one each of those boxes for now uh and let's go ahead and put him down, right? So, all right. This is so cool. This is so cool. All right. So first thing, first thing, we're gonna we gotta put him in the in the proper proper area, right? So as you guys can see, I'm gonna have to kind of adjust a little bit of my shelving. I kind of want to keep the organization happening when it comes to to here to the the shop. Uh, we do have some empty shelving as you can see over here in the back so what i'm planning to do is we get to put one more mat over here so we're going to put this one first this one's going to go here i'm going to do is grab this this over here so we got we're going to have to do a little bit of movement okay so we're going to have to move a couple things around and i'm going to try to do it slowly so we're going to grab this one here now and this one's going to fall here perfect so we're going to do that and that should give us one two three uh, four. So we should have four more spaces, right? Let's see. So we got three more. So we got enough space for for a next rack, and we can continue to do this nice and easy. Now, when, when it comes to the rest of the structure, we're gonna have to move some of this over here. So let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, we, oh wait, we also have comics coming our way, right? So we actually got some comics coming our way. So let's go ahead and grab uh, this right here. We're gonna move it here. Because we actually got more comics and you never know. I don't know how many more comics we're going to get. So this is going to be a very exciting uh, thing for us. So I'm going to grab is this. So this is going to be the next one, right? So we're going to put this one right here. Number uh, number nine. Number nine is going to go there. We're going to take this tag off. So that way we don't have anybody putting stuff over here. And we got to kind of move the rack. So I want to move this one off the area. I'm going to put it right here for now gonna grab the one that we moved before and I think for now I'm gonna put now all the action figures on this side here I think that should work for us so we're gonna grab number two here I'm gonna slide it right there uh, number three we're gonna move it uh, let's move this one here and number three should be right here I'm gonna put that right there we go. All right. So so we got the, the new section. So the new section for the comics are going to go here. Uh, we got the other section over here for the action figure. So that's done. So now we can bring back this for now. So the idea of this is this, this figurine here, this right here, this we can move him anywhere that we want. There's still action figure. I, I think I'm going to move him into one of these spots here. Let me see if I can get this there. There. Okay. There we go. So since this is finishing right here, this is all the action figures right now, at least the evolutions of the ones that we have, right? Uh, I'm still on the way to almost hit level 80. So I'm going to unlock my last action figuring. So what I want to do is just, I, I think I'm going to move this to the last section here. These are kind of like the little different ones. So let's go ahead and move this and move them over here for now. So that is the plan. Now, these ones are made double for now just because I had the space, I can always make him single if I need to. So I'm going to take that out. 
and take this out because we want to make sure that the warehouse that they don't put the stuff in the cor incorrect place so there we go so we got the first one there so we're gonna go the second one the second mat is i believe it's this one i like to place things in order myself that's that's how i kind of i like to do things so we're gonna put this one there and i'm gonna pull these two mats i i really really love the way these two mats look i i maybe you imagine if we can actually buy the mats i I think I, I think I know exactly which one I will buy right now. It just looks so good. Now, one person in our community actually put the ghost card in white of the new one. So, a little jealous, a little jealous. You know, they already they already did it. Congratulations, Hayes. Congratulations, being the first one uh, already pulling it. Thank you so much for putting it on the Discord for we can see it. Okay, all right. So we did this, we did that. So now we gotta buy the comics. So let's go ahead and buy the comics. Now, I always find it very comfortable uh, when I to work at night, no BC, no. I know I can be earning XP in the background, but I find it a little bit more uh, convenience, right? A little more convenience when we do it this way. And okay, there we go. That should be all three right there. Let's go check the car. Volume 10, volume 9, and volume 12. Perfect. All right, so we're going to purchase that. And let's go ahead and get it. So first one. 36 now we do gotta find places exactly where do i want to put all these comics so we got three new comics so that's gonna be important right now uh i think we can do it still in the places that we got our comics right now where uh where, where we got them on the shelf because i didn't double so we can actually we having to move too much around we can do that uh I'm gonna have to sell more stuff in the store so i can have more free boxes i don't have boxes laying around uh, I think that is something that I need to get better at is <laughs> saving uh, saving cardboard boxes. I think that it, that could be a good idea for the future. Uh, so let's go over here and, and put the next one here. All right. So I'm going to put this one here and there we go. So now we got this assigned. So at least we got all the comics. We got all the mats assigned in the proper area. So when we start ordering, we can actually do it. So now let, let's talk about how we can do this, right? So the comics I got in double. Uh, so definitely, definitely right away. We can start with over here, right? We already got, uh, we got all the way to number nine over here. So I can definitely put number 10 here, right? Take out the, the extra eight, put number 10 there. We can go with 11 and then we can go 12 and we can slowly take out these extra comics. I think that is gonna work out really great for us doing it that way. Now we do have four mats extra. Now in my mat collection here area, we got three. We got exactly three spots, but we got four new ones to add. So that is a little downer. So I gotta think exactly how I want it. This is easy to move. We, we should be able to completely move all of this around put the three that we want right over here. And then we got one more. Now, the one more is gonna be the tricky one. I wanna find a really good spot for it. Uh, we may actually, maybe we can add it over here and take one of these out, or we can add it underneath one of the comic book area, especially, you know what? You know what we could do? We can actually do that. Uh, so we can make it look nice. So over here will be, uh, let's see, so we got nine. So we got 10, 11, 12. So the 11 and 12, uh, let's look at the comics real quick. So, because what we could do is, wrong section, accessories. Let's go all the way down. And over here, there is the number 12, right? We can match the the little uh, play mat with that. Now, another, another thing that we could do is, I could actually take one more table off if we don't have one more table here and do a little play mat rack souvenir right here with also with the comics. So as I think about this, I got to let the store run. So we're going to let the store run, sell more product. I'm not ordering anything to refill. That way I can move a couple things around and then, and then we'll be back. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay. So we're back. Uh, one, um, I went ahead, went through a day of selling stuff, letting everybody sell. I didn't buy anything to restock. So hopefully, hopefully we can start moving a couple of things around uh, that we need, right? That's going to be one of the most important things. So first of all, first of all, I need an empty box. So I was able to accumulate some boxes as I was helping restock throughout the day, right? So we got some boxes and we want to move a couple things around first, right? 
Now, uh, many reasons that I'm doing this is um, I've been getting a couple messages and thank you so got everybody that subscribed and likes the store, likes the layout, likes the plans that we're doing on TCG. Uh, a little bit different, right? A little bit different here. Uh, and some of you have asked if I could do a little more gameplay since the stream is all about opening car packs. So, so I'm trying something new, something different here. Uh, a little bit of editing, so it's not too, too, too boring, right? So what we're gonna do over here is moving a couple things around, right? Because first of all, we're gonna put the next mats right here. Now, there may be a chance that I may want to redesign a little bit of this wall. Uh, maybe I can move some other items and stuff like that. Like right here, let's see. So we got like one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, that's eight. Then we got 12, 12, and then 12, 13, 40, 15, 16. And the problem is I can only have up to, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18. So if we do the, if we, if we do a different type of wall, right? We can do one, two, three, four. So that's four, that's eight. Then we got 12. Then we got the new section that's 16, 16, the last actual figure is 17, then 18, 19. So there should be 19 figurines, right? 19 figurines, if I'm counting that right. So that 15, 16, 17, 18. So we can do 18. There's still one that won't fit in the shelf. So what I was thinking is what I could do, instead of having all these mats over here, we can make this be uh, the action figure wall and I can move all the new play mats uh, right here. Like we can do them right here in a different way and then just do the figurines over here. So that is a way that we can kind of improve the store. Uh, a lot of ways for me when I'm thinking about this kind of stuff is sometimes you gotta try it out to see if you like it. And when you meet, when I mean by try it out, it's a lot of moving, right? It's a lot of moving that you gotta do. Another idea that I had that we could do is I don't need so many binders, right? I like the binders because it kind of gives you a little extra color. The great thing about those, they're tall too. So we can put them like over here in the top and we got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, 10, 11. So not, in, not enough to go around the store. So maybe we don't do that idea. That's something that kind of pops in my head, in, in, in my mind that we could kind of approach. So, so what I'm thinking, man, I almost like the idea of moving this all across there so all the mats are together because we're we're gonna be short one one mat but is it worth it is it it's a lot of moving would it, would it be worth it what do you guys think what do you guys think i i like you know i like when you come in you see the figurines and i like the mats over here we're just gonna be off by one one by one that's always so hard for me when when, when it comes to the decisions it's like I don't know if all the figuring, like having a wall, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, eight. Yeah, man, it's so hard. It's so hard to decide what you want to do, right? Hmm. Okay. Okay, I think I might just keep it simple for now. Keep it simple for now. And, but I would love these action figures to be all together though. I kind of would like all the evolution. You know what, you know what, let's do it. Let's do it real quick. Let's do it, you know. Uh, I may, I may have to change my mind. I, I may hate it at the end. Uh, some people want to see, you guys want to see the, the, the struggle, right? The why I do the things that I do, you know, and moving things around. That's, that's, that, that's part of the game. That's part of the game, right? Okay. So I got to move this now and move this one over here. So we're going to do one over here. Okay. So that's one. Uh, we're going to grab number two. That should be here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different for the evolutions of, of the thing. This is an idea that somebody left me in one of the comments of one of our uh, last videos and they say that they, they 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 put everything in a little sequence you know of the evolution and I really I really like that idea a lot I really like that idea a lot so so we gotta move things around okay so we're gonna move this and this will go here now so yeah I hope that you guys uh, have fun watching all this because 
Uh, wait, so this is number three, right? Number three. So I still need to move another one here. <laughs> oh my gosh, this... Trying to keep things organized. Ah. Oh. It truly, truly, uh, you can place the mats in any way you form you want, but I, I am actually kind of putting them in in the order of how you order them or you unlock them. Again, now the, I am changing the figurines, right? We, we are changing that. So there is number three right here. So let's put that one there like that. Uh, let's see. So we got to grab the bat real quick. Let's move those. And I guess I can put the bat here for now. So that works out for us. And let's grab this. That little section there. And so this one should be number four. All right. So we're doing good. Okay, number four. There we go. Uh, we got an empty number five. This is going to be great. Empty number five. Now, I do have two more boxes that will help kind of move these things around. So if we need to, we can use that to pack. That I think we're going to have to. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I get lucky here. Okay. Now we grab this. This is the next evolution. So we're going to put this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Ah. Oh. I almost did a mistake. I almost did a mistake. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, one, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. That is the evolution right there. All right. So we got one, two, three, four. That is the next way of evolution. Okay. So we got five. So we can grab this one. And let's go ahead and go with the six. Uh, I'm going to have to put this here, right? All right. Let's grab this. This is the next thing we're going to move. I'm telling you, it's got to keep track. You got to keep track. Keep track. <laughs> All right. So now we get this one, right? And this one moves here. Great. Now we grab the star. Got to move the star out of the way. I'm going to put those there. And we're gonna grab now the next. A lot of moving. Tell me, uh, how you guys approach the game when, when when you guys are doing this, when you guys are moving and putting things around. Man, did I calculate this correctly? I feel like we're filling those very quickly. Oh my gosh! I hope that I'm not doing all this move and I miscount it. Did I miscount it? Man, I hope not. I hope not. Okay. So now this one goes here. All right. And now this one we grab. This one goes here. There we go. We grab this evolution right over here. This is the next one. This is number three. So one, two, three. And then we got one more that we have that we got to grab this one. There we go. And this one goes here. There we go. All right. All right. There we go. Catching up. And now we got our number 10. Ten. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five. Oh no. Five. One, two, three, four. <sighs> no, this is not gonna Okay, wait, wait, wait. Alright, we can fix this. We can fix this. We can fix this. Give me a moment. We may have to actually do what I thought at first. Uh, let's see if we can. <laughs> Let me see if I can, if I can get away with it. All right, here, here, here's the gameplay. Okay, you guys wanted the gameplay. <laughs> you guys wanted me to do this, so I, uh, I am gonna try my best. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we got another binder. So we filled that wall over there. Let me see if I can fill up anything over here. There, there, there. Ooh. All right. So we got two more spots. All right. So we got two more spots. Let's see if we can open this one. Okay. We got two here. So let's grab this two here. This should help, right? Two. All right. One, two. One, two. Okay. That gives us an empty box for now. And we're going to grab this. We got three and three. All right. So this box, we're going to have to put it in storage for now. Telling you this. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, man. 
I, th I think once we order stuff, we're gonna have a little more more room for. Okay, let's grab this tree and grab that one for now. Okay, so at least we can put this one away now. And we got one more box we can use. Plus, we can always order something and try to empty that box. That is what we're gonna have to do. Okay, so let's come over here and. Oh, wait, 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 no. Let, let's leave those there. Okay. So, number two. We need playmate number two that we don't have. See, this is how we're going to get another box, okay? All right, let's put that empty there. Let's order playmate number two that we don't have any any of those in stock right now. So, we actually need to order one. So, it's going to be this one. So, let's go ahead and order that. I try to keep everything straight. I hope I, hope I am. It's weird, it's weird to... I haven't, like, I, I I do this always without the camera, so it's a lot easier to keep in track in your mind. Like, and I'm over here trying to explain my thinking, right? Explain my thinking. Now, I'm used to explaining my thinking in other videos, but not in TCG. It's, it's definitely a little bit different. A little bit different. I kind of like this idea, and we may actually improvise on this i think we may have a really i think we may have something cool here okay all right let's keep going i think we're gonna have a good sequence here uh i think i'm gonna like this wall now i think play mats and in between having the cards i think that is gonna be awesome i think it's actually gonna work out very nice for us all right so we're gonna we get to put this one away now that that that's a great thing when um when you're moving things around in the warehouse and you're gonna move stuff in the store drain if you have a storage area like i do drain it you know run couple days don't worry about profit don't worry about nothing like that you just want to move things around that that that's the that's going to be the end goal right okay so there we go so that gives us one two three four five six seven okay seven so the next map will be this one and this one's going to go here now now what we can do is grab some of these red boxes and put them there like that. And then we grab the next map and we're going to do this sequence. I think this wall is actually going to look really nice. Again, we're going to have all the mats. We're still going to have a lot of product to sell, especially of the of the high volume one, right? We want to sell that. And I think this is going to be a good movement. Uh, it's going to look nice. That To me, the most important thing is that the shop looks nice. Uh, a little background if some people, you know, some I, I see in the comments like I must have worked retail in the past. And yes, I have worked retail in the past. I've been management in retail in the past. I have worked against up in the past. So uh, it's it's fun. It's, it's fun. And so, something about this game, something about this game, it just really, really makes you happy. Right. I, I don't know. It, it makes me it makes me happy. All right. So we're gonna get the next one here and we're gonna try now to adjust everything. But I think I like this a lot. I think this is gonna look great. This is gonna look great, all right. We're gonna get the next mat right over here. And this one's gonna go here. All right, uh, we're gonna grab the next red boxes here. Uh, the star, we are about to move. Let's just move the star here for now. Now, we're gonna grab the next one, and that's gonna go here. Perfect, perfect, okay. All right. All right, so I'm thinking, I don't know if we're gonna have to, I wonder if I need to do, I don't know, I kinda like the idea, but. All right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm, I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. That's something that I, I tend to do quite a bit. Okay. So we're going to grab this and we're going to put this here. All right. And then we're going to go to the next sequence. Like this is number two. That go here. Uh, number three is this big one. So we're going to put number three there. All right. So we make some space. Uh, we're supposed to have boxes. So let's put boxes there. All right. We're going to grab this. Uh, transfer it here for now. Uh, we're supposed to have a mat. So we're going to grab the yellow one. Put it right over here. What do you guys think of the new the new artwork? 
I think the new artwork looks great. I, I'm gonna be honest. I think I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks great. Uh, an evolution of the cars, right? I, I think that's what we were all hoping for. And I think they are they are delivering. I think they are delivering on the idea. Oop, wait, wrong place, wrong place. Uh, right here, that goes there, okay. I think they're delivering on the idea on on what this game can be. I like that they're giving so much good credit to the artist. I think that is fantastic as well. I love seeing that. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, so this is number 15. All right, so we managed to move arranging this wall. So now we can order the other mats. So we got one, two, three, four. We got four mats and worst case scenario, the extra stuff. Uh, we can always add the other figurines that won't match up in here. So I, I like this, I like this. So let's keep that box there and let's order the next mat that we need. So let's order accessories. So we finished 15, that is this one right here. So one, two, three, and four. And we're gonna keep those boxes uh, empty. We're gonna keep the empty ones for now as well. All right, let's grab the one that we need first. That's gonna be this one. And we're gonna put it here. And I kind of like it when you come over here, it actually feels a little more cleaner and fuller. So I think this design is gonna work really nice for us. There we go. And I definitely wanna keep the empty box. So we're gonna we're gonna walk a little bit. But hopefully, hopefully, this is the gameplay. This gives you idea, at least the way I operate, right? Hopefully this makes sense for everybody. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it makes sense for everybody. All right, next box. So there, there, okay. Oh no, oh wait, ah. Okay, good thing I have an empty one right here. I forgot to move things around. Okay, let's make sure, okay, that goes there. This one should go there. This should go there and there. Grab this, put this there. And that's at the end. Okay, perfect, all right. So we gotta, no, 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 no. It's so bad when you pick something by accident. All right, now, now we're gonna keep on loading. Okay, so next play mat, and we got two more to put down. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know. I, I find I find it very very relaxing, very satisfying when we are doing all of this. The, the, there's something about stalking at night. I really enjoy it, especially in this game. And also getting ideas all the time, like like oh, what should I do? How should I move this? Like like what we're just doing right now. Like what we're doing right now. What ideas? How do I want to stalk? What do I want to move? Should I move it? Should I not move it? Uh, and I like this because if we keep getting items, you know, I, I really, I know, I know there is better ways. And I want to say thank you to everybody that writes me. I love Keldor. I love watching him. A lot of people are recommending. Have you watched Keldor? Have you watched Keldor? Yes, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Keldor. I love it. I, I love learning all the behind the scene coding that he provides to the community. And, and I love it. I, I enjoy it a lot. And now I get the opportunity to learn from that and how to adjust that knowledge into my the way that I want to run my my store, right? Because yes, I I, I do want to I do want it to look like a store, right? That that's that's my end goal. It's always going to be to make it look like a store, you know. Uh, money wise, we always going to get money. I just want my store to look like a store as much, and and that's why we're working very hard on it. Okay, all right. So as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna grab this empty box and now I'm gonna grab this for now and I'm gonna put one right here that works for me gonna grab this one here and I'm gonna put that there all right so actually that works out very nicely for us until they give us more and then we'll adjust everything again so okay so so we got the idea here so we got one two three four now the thing is I don't know I don't know if I if I'm a fan, what do you guys think? One, two, three, four. I wonder if I should do it. You can't do it by square. I'm trying to find a better way 
to accommodate all of this. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18. So, you know. So we got all the spot. It's just what is the best way to showcase this? That is my question. Like, how do I want to showcase it? I don't know if I should just go in order the evolution and then start this evolution right here and keep going. I think that's going to be the best sequence because it's going to kind of ruin everything on the side. So, and this is what I'm saying. Okay. I'm going to grab this now. And I guess we'll start right here. Because if I don't do it like this, it, it, it's going to give us a weird sequence. And I don't know if I'm going to be a fan of that. So we do that. And then now we grab the three here. And we do it again. And do this. Do that. Grab this. Grab that. Grab this one. And that. And then we have this. So the plushie. One, two, three, four. Okay. And we still got two spots. It still gives us two spots. Did we move everything? Okay, I guess I'm miscounted. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we give us two. Now we're gonna have the latest action figure, the level 80. We're about to hit it. So I guess we can fill that spot with this two right over here. That spot right here, right? Am I missing one? Wait. I don't know. Wait. Am I, am I missing something? Oh no. Oh no. Wait. The box is in the way now. Oh no. Ah. <laughs> the box is in the way. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything. Uh, let me let me look at the figuring stuff real quick. All right, one, two, three, four. Right, that's it. This is the one that's coming up next. All right. So why did I think that I needed more extra space? Oh, I guess for the other figurines. But since we're gonna get the the eighty, the level eighty one, I think I can finish the level eighty one right here for now, and we can kind of keep it in stock like that. All right, so I need to order a couple more figurines. So let's order this one. And we need to order this one right here. Okay. All right, let's order those and put them, and put them away real quick. This is going to work out. This is going to work out, right? I believe, I believe this is going to work out. All right, let's put that there. And we gotta put this box away. This is the great thing about having a good storage area. You know, you get to put things away nicely and organize. All right, let's grab this. And, oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And four there. Okay, I had the wrong one. I ordered the wrong one and I had the wrong one in the wrong place. I get it now. I get it now. Okay. So this one goes here. All right. Let's order the last one that we need for this area. And I think this should do it. Uh, and then the, the, the next thing that we got to work on, we got to work on the, on the comic side. So we're going to be back and work on that. That is going to be for level 80. So we'll add that very soon. Uh, let's go ahead and put this away there. I need to take away those tags because we don't want our people to put stuff where we don't want them to. I love this wall, but I like this wall over here a lot. I think this looks great. Uh, let's go ahead and put micro price 10 done. Micro price plus 10 round done. Micro price plus 10 round done. Done. Okay, there we go. Done. Done. Right? All right. There we go. All right. So, okay. So here's the plan. So I I gotta let it run the day. We're gonna let it run the day. I need to actually sell more stuff. 
on this side so I can move some of the comics. Now, the great thing now, all this is gonna go away. I can box this up and I can use a little bit of this to also design a good comic book rack area because I kinda like this still and I think it will look really cool. I may actually organize a little bit of the comics into this area, but let's run one more day. Maybe we hit to level 80, don't know, but let's run it one more day and we'll be back and we'll keep working on the sword. Okay, so I've been selling, I've been running the day, selling the stock that I have on the store so I can kind of move some things around and it finally happened. It finally happened. Over 30k profit. Finally, finally, that achievement is complete. That means that I can finally kind of restructure the store in a different way, not worrying about having to make so much profit. I mean, I want to make profit, but now we can think about how to approach a store different that looks better and it's not all these scar packs. So this changes everything. So I'm going to take a moment because I got to think, how do I want, where do I want things now? Because things kind of change in my mind. So we'll be back in just a moment and let's go to the next day. Let's go to the next morning and let's see what we're going to do. Okay. So we are in now in the next day. Uh, I have went and opened this store. Because wait, if, if I want to work on the store and move things around, I can't work it during the day because every time I'm going to drop something in, the stalkers are going to try to grab him or and I need to deactivate everybody. But I do want to kind of sell a little bit more so I can move a couple things around. So one of the, I, the new idea is now that I, I made the achievement that I wanted, right? Now I don't need to have like all this, specific some of this area, like all this extra card boxes in this particular areas, right? I don't, I don't need to have like this major wall. I do want to keep some of this stuff, some of this stuff, some of this stuff here, but I do want to spread it out a little bit more. So one of the new things I want to do is right here, like this and here, right? I kind of want to do, put the comics there, but put one comic and leave one pack, one comic, one pack. That way, because there is a chance after the comics will to pick up the product, there's a chance that they're going to pick something else in the vicinity, very close to the shelf. Just kind of like what this NPC is doing right here, right? When they get right over there, there's a chance that they want to grab something. So I want to give my options open still. So I'm going to take the idea that we did over here with the playmats, right? Over here, but I'm going to do it with the comics. We're going to put the comics over here. We're going to do a sequence the same way, and it's going to take this and this shelf there on purpose. So it's going to take all of that. Now, what we're going to do with the action figures, the action figures, we actually, I'm planning to move them right over here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the new one, now that we hit it to level 80, we're going to, it's going to be the divider in the middle. Now, the other step that we want to do is in the very top, in the very top, I want to continue to do this kind of sequence over here, the way we got on the other side as well but on the other side now we change it sorry we change it to the playmat but i do want to go over here and put some of this cover the the binders and probably put them right over here too then what i'm planning to do over here is actually bring the board games over here and again put some car packs on the bottom but i want the store to look a little bit more product concentrated right to look a little more organized and more product related instead of seeing a c just all these car, all these car legendary boxes everywhere, right? Like all the car boxes. So that's the plan. So let's wait to the day sale. I'm gonna start ordering. We're gonna start restocking, and I'll see you very soon. Okay. So now it's nighttime. We ran it for one more day, and now we're gonna start moving things around. So again, so the got the plan is to move some of the comics. We're gonna put them over here. We're gonna put some of the overstock uh, of the action figures we're going to put them on the other side so let's start moving and again uh always try to remember if you can if you can you need to save some boxes you know uh the great thing about emptying a store the way it, i'm just doing it right now it gives me the opportunity to now uh move things out around more easily that's why we ran so many days so i can actually do this so i'm gonna do is just keep moving things around filling things around so so we finished this section so so the idea is we're gonna put volume one volume two volume two oh i can go volume one volume two volume three volume four volume five volume six i don't know which order will look better one two three four five six one two three four five six i 
don't know exactly. Let's 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 see. Let's go ahead and order now. What we need to do first, we need to order uh, the first comic because we're already sold out. So that is one of the first things that we need to do. So let's order the first one. Let's order one box of those. Um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have uh, leftovers when it comes to those type of boxes because now we we only gonna hold a little less on the shelf. But the idea is now that finally that we made it to the thirty thousand uh, profit goal. Now I don't have to worry about that. So I do want to make the store look look a little nicer, right? That that that's the idea. So let's go with one there. So now what we're gonna do is grab this box and we gotta put it back and forth. Okay, so I can make this sequence a little bit shorter for you guys. Uh, you see the process. So I'm gonna do this shelf and then I'll be right back to show you how it looks done and where we're gonna move on next. So, all right, I'll just be right back. Okay, so now we're back. We are done with the first move of the comics. And this is kind of like I was saying earlier, we took inspiration for what we did on this wall that is a little empty, it's gonna get full again. But we took inspiration for what we did there and we went ahead and put the comics here. Now, I could put all 12 in one section over here, but for now, I kinda like this and since it seems like we're getting more constant update, hopefully we get more items, I'll be able to move things around, kinda like placeholders right now, but why not sell some of the highest value just in case the NPC wants to pick something else at random. So what we did, we got one, two, three, we got packs on the sides and then four, five, six packs on the side. And then on this side, we did the same thing, as you can see. So it took a little movement. I still gotta now put all these other all comics away. Uh, so as we ordering boxes and putting now the act, the, the figuring, the action figures away, uh, I'm gonna try to pick up some of these comics and put them back in storage. So that's what we're gonna work on. So the next move is gonna be right here. So we're gonna work in this area over here and we're gonna make this now this wall when we look at over here, it's going to be for the action figure. So let's go ahead and start working on that. Okay, so I went ahead and placed uh, four orders. We're going to do it. we're going to do the plushies and we're going to do each of the evolutions. I, I thought I was going to do it the sequence that we did earlier before, but we, we're going to move that. We're going to move away from that idea. I wasn't liking the way it looked, at least not for me at this moment. It may look different here, but it didn't work out where we had it before. So we're going to do it uh, right over here. So first thing, first thing, I just got to put some of this stuff away real quick. Because uh, we got to move the the little, this little boards, right? We're going we to gotta move the the game board. Now, this board, they're gonna, we're going to put them on this side now. This is where we're going to have the the board games. And we're going to move the figuring over here. So what we're going to do, we're going to do each four of them. So we got four space. So each of the four, we're going to move them into each location. So this one, this one, all the plushies should hit four here, right? And then we're going to go with the next evolution for here. Then we're going to do the next evolution of the four here. And then the next evolution of the four here. And then what we're gonna do in the middle here, we're gonna put the new action figure that we got at level 80. So that's what we're gonna work on. So I'm gonna go ahead, once again, that way you don't have to see all this long gameplay. Uh, I'm gonna start working on that, fill it up, and we'll come back when everything is done. Okay, so now we're done. We finished with the action figure work. So this is what we did back here. So I did it this way right now. We put all the plushies on one area. Like I mentioned, I just I put in the, the, the latest, the one you get at level 80 uh, in the middle. I did two spots, so then everything comes out uh, even on the other side. I like this setup. I tried a couple different combinations just to see what it's gonna like. This is the one that I like the most. Now on the top is staying the same. So this is like the only wall that we actually won't have actually box of cars right we do have them in the corner and one in the corner over here so we got the comics now set up we clear all the tables where the comics were so now they're basically cat holders for now because i'm gonna do some testing to see where my profits are where my store and see if i can tweak it even more i always want to be in the green even if it's just by a little bit and i want to keep changing the store to feel like a real store right that's always my end goal now when it comes over here on this side this is what we did again we are putting all the the board games back here in the middle so it's on five and i got six spots i went ahead and did two in the middle so it looks nice and even all the boxes in in a nice little sequence and on the bottom we're gonna have the box cars uh, on the very top we're gonna do again over here the collector binders and that's what kind of what we did over here too collector binders on the top 
on the top and over here as well we're gonna kind of divide it like this so that is gonna be the idea for now so we're gonna give this a try uh the next thing that i'm gonna do now so you guys can see it completely full is i'm gonna order everything that i need in the warehouse it's gonna be everything gonna put away i'll show you how the store looks completely full and then I'll do some experimenting. There'll be future videos once we get to level 100, if there's any more items and what all the changes I'm gonna do because uh, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes, you know, having all this, uh, let me show you now. Now that I made it to the 30K profit, right? I unlocked that achievement the way I wanted to do it like this. Now I kinda wanna tweak it. Like when I come over here, I see all these boxes. It can be better, it can be better, but we wanna be smart uh, because I wanna have a nice store, but also that makes profit. But I'm gonna order all this stuff. I'm gonna let everybody put it away, show you the final design for now, how I incorporated all the new product, and that be the end. So, okay, let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, I just placed my order. I just needed to show you guys, look at this. Look at how much we have ordered. This <laughs> is so much. We gotta, because we gotta restock the whole store. We gotta slowly restock the warehouse completely so that we can start testing those numbers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go now, you know, we go to the next day uh, and we're just gonna let all the workers go, right? We're just gonna let them go, do their thing. Uh, I'm even gonna get my other two cashiers that are, are gonna go inside right now and I'm gonna put them to stock because that's the best way to do it right now, right? I mean, nothing is happening, so we just wanna get them i'm gonna put them all to do restocking as you can see i'm gonna grab this person gonna put this one also to restock and there we go so that the timer's no running right nothing is running the day is paused so i'm gonna let them do their thing put everything away see what else we need to restock and then do the final walkthrough of the store where is at today at what level we're on what we have accomplished uh, running a store that has every single item now officially even the new ones because you know That's that was the whole point of this little video uh, That you guys are watching right now and Finally make it to level 80 to unlock that last statue. So I'm just gonna let them work and we'll be back final walkthrough and See how the store looks. Okay, so we are back Everything is put away as you can see. I, I went ahead and moved some things around uh, in the store. So we're gonna show how I got my store laid out right now. So we have, as you come in, we got all the new figurines right here on the top. I kind of rearranged this a little bit so it can look a little bit different. You know, now that I made the 30,000 uh, goal, now I, all I wanna make is money. I, I, don't, I don't open enough car packs in the sense to use all my money. So for now, this is what I want. So as you can see, I kind of accommodating this right here in a different way. Uh, I'm doing this very high profit, um, profit margins as statues, as you can see over here, profit is 132. So I went ahead and put quite a few of those. I've been doing some testing. And right now when I'm finishing on the store in this particular layout, so it's not about maximizing profit, right? It's not about that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making around 22, 25,000 profits a day. That's really good. I'm making around 10 to 11,000 XP. And, and yes, it's for my XP grind. I could be grinding a uh, better XP if I did a different, but as you guys know, the goal, the goal of mine is to always create a nice store. So I went back and I re-added back this lineup right over here. So it kind of looks a little bit different from the store. Once again, we got a, a, a different lineup right over here. Once again, I kind of started, I wanted this to look a little bit different. So I put again more of the little uh, action figurine because you know, 101.85 profit, these tables are great. They get the opportunity to grab more to sell. These big ones are great as well. Um, as you can see, we go over here, you get 90.29 profit. So I put those uh, again, once again, this is how we redesign the comic book area, as you guys can see. Uh, this got a little bit redesigned, so I added an extra two now since I I don't need the extra box uh, the extra box cards, and over here kind of the same thing. Uh, 
I kind of rearrange it here. Uh, one of the reasons that I kind of wanted to do this, I just wanted to look better when you look at from the outside, when you walk in. I really like the feel of everything. Like this hallway looks really good now. The way everything is divided, everything that is sorted. When you come over here, again, this little action figure wall over here as well. Now, this big one here, I don't have it out here just because I don't need it. I got so many. Now, the other ones that you can see like this one and this one, they're out there because you can only sell so few in this particular area. So I do have them more out here. Uh, again, this other section over here with the comics. If we get more comics, I wanna extend it over here. So this could be the next place. Now over here on this particular table, I do wanna do something different either in this spot or with this table, don't know yet. Maybe we'll wait until we get new items. So I may wait on that. And then the big wall over here that you guys saw earlier in the video when we did it. And of course the gaming board section over here as well. So everything is completed, everything is done. I'm very happy with the layout. I'm happy the way it feels. I, I, I ran a couple of days. Again, we are making about, you know, between the 20,000 to 25,000 uh, day in profit. Sometimes I get close to 28. So I got a day to 29 in this particular way. Uh, so it's going really good. Again, XP wise, I'm, I'm gaining between 10, 11, 12. There was a day that I did almost 13. So that was actually pretty good. Uh, close close to 13 uh, just depending what they're grabbing what, what we're selling again if you like this layout and you want to make even more profit I kind of want to keep the car area like this I do want to keep the car table but if for some reason you want to make more profit you can actually take out all the tables out and put more stuff here and you know you can sell more product give that yourself to have a chance but I really like the store I really like the layout I, I like that it feels a little bit more better. I'm going to keep tweaking it. Uh, I want to keep a good margin, but I want the store to feel like a store. Again, I know I'm saying that a lot, but I do want it to feel like when you walk to a game store, when you go walk into a TCG shop, you know, I, I, I want to have that balance. So I want to I want to keep working on that, especially the key adding more items. That's going to be exciting because I do want to keep tweaking that right as we get more items. But, you know, this is it. This is the store. This is what it looks like right now after adding all the new items, you know, adding all the new comics, adding all the new stuff. Let's like, let's put it right here. This is a good way to kind of see the way all the changes that we did on the store by accommodating all the new items that were provided in the TCG. This actually took me just in case uh, I did it in three days in small sections at a time. The first day of the recording, I recorded yesterday and today is the third day that I recorded working in pieces and letting the days go so I can get all of this done. And now, now it's just time to edit, put it together and you guys can watch it. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit that like if you like this type of videos. Let me know if you like this type of content. That way I know to make more of this type of recording so you can see the changes that I do to the store instead of just the final walkthrough. And I'll see you guys on the next time, on the next one. All right, guys, don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, and bye.